I welcome you again to this wonderful video. As a matter of fact, this video is going to be the last long form video on our 14 days YouTube studio posting challenge. So now today I want to show you some of the features inside YouTube studio that you don't know they exist because I know that I must have touched everything inside YouTube studio. But on this last long form video, I'm going to show you every features inside YouTube studio that you don't know. They are actually existing so all those features now is what i'm going to touch you know if you remember we started with the trend tab the content tab the audience tab the overview the revenue tab and everything we have touched everywhere so if you've not been following this our content challenge just go to the description of this video you are going to see the link to the playlist of this 14 days youtube challenge everything is about the youtube studio so if you watch it from beginning to end you will understand the youtube studio very well with that you can know exactly how your content and your channel is performing and it will be very very simple for you so without wasting much of your time let us dive into the video straight up basically i want to show you some of these important features that you are not paying attention to now first of all let me start with this community tab because i have other important features here that i will equally show you on this video today okay now go to this community tab you will see that this community tab is showing you all your comments you know look at this place 129 comments returning viewers is 900 and something so if you click on view all every comment that people have sent to you you can reply it from here now let me reply to this one this one said what do you use to shoot now this one is three hours ago i will write a camera so i've replied to this comment so look at another important feature here if you watch this is published you can change it and look at held so these comments that youtube withheld are some comments that are against their community guidelines so they withheld it for you to review the comments and see if you will approve it or you will delete the comment now look at this person now just copied the link of his channel and posted the link as a comment on my video you know so youtube don't need something like this for you to be pasting your link the link of your channel in people's comment section is spamming like you are spamming their comment section so they kept it as held so what am i going to do if i see something like this i will just come here and click on delete and it's gone for people that are having plenty comments you can filter the ones you want to reply here now if you if you check here you will see sort by you know maybe most relevant if you click on this most relevant youtube will just filter all the contents that are relevant that you are supposed to attend to they will just filter it for you you can equally click on contents questions like comments that has to do with question if i click on this thing now you see these ones have question mark what's the equipment called i don't know if you're getting me so after this video i'm going to take my time and reply to this comment you can equally choose from super tanks if you click on this from super tanks every anybody that have gifted you super tanks all their comments are going to be here so you attend to them first then another one is public subscribers so this one is channel members people that have subscribed to your channel their comments will come out here then finally subscribers count this means that if you are having plenty comments on your channel and maybe you want to reply to people that have higher subscribers you can just come here look at this one 10 million and above 1 million and above you know you can click on any of them if their comments show you will just be replying them so that will be all about the comments and the community tab then another important feature i want to show you is here if you watch this place that i have my logo if i click on it it will take me to this place this place is like the settings from here if i click on this arrow from here i can change my channel banner most of you you have a channel but you've not customized a good looking banner to put here look at this one is my banner from here you can change your channel banner you can change your channel profile picture then here you can change your name if i don't want my channel to be jazzy nation tv again this is where i can rename my channel and this is channel handle if i want to change the handle of my channel this is the place i'm going to change it from but look at something that is very important visible to all users on youtube remember to follow the community guideline that means don't choose a name that youtube don't want and secondly using some special characters that they don't want another important feature is you can change your handle back within 14 days it means after changing your channel handle you have to stay like two weeks before you can adjust it or change it again so that is what this thing actually means then from this place is description you can change the description of your channel from here very simple easy peasy you can add many links here links to your social media and any link at all from this place so 
All these things are small features inside YouTube Studio that you can just do with your phone. Another important feature inside this YouTube Studio is the settings. When you come to these settings, look at the place I want you to pay attention to. Let's assume you want to invite somebody to be managing your channel for you. Let's say you, you hire an editor, then the editor finish editing videos for you. You know, instead of them to send you the video for you to upload, if it's stressful, you can invite somebody from here. The person will just give you the Gmail. You can just make the person admin to your channel and that person can be posting videos for you. But this thing is very, very risky. You have to do it with somebody that you trust. Or better still, don't make the person a channel admin. You can make the person an editor in your channel, which means they can only post, but they will not have access to some other features in your channel. So anytime you want to do it, this is where to click and do it. This feature is also for a group of people that are running one channel. You know, two people can team up, say, let us create one channel. You will be creating and be posting. Why me? I will be creating and be posting. The channel Gmail can just be in one phone why you invite somebody as a moderator or as an editor to your channel using their gmail if i click on invite look at what they're showing me i will just type the email address the person gave to me this one is manager look at the work of a manager manager can view everything manage permission go live create edit and delete content editor editor can view everything go live create edit can't manage permission or delete content, which means an editor cannot give another person access to this channel. All this thing I'm showing you are inside YouTube Creator Studio. Editor, limited, editor, limited, bracket. Same permission as editor, but can't view the revenue data. So you can put the person editor, limited. Person can post, do some other things, but they cannot see how much you are generating from your channel. Now, subtitle can add edit and remove subtitles can't do anything else can't view anything else viewer can view everything can't create edit or delete anything you know so all these things are the things that you can just use this youtube studio to do immediately you put the person's email address here and click on send invitation google will automatically send the person an invitation once they accept it they will become an editor or a manager or anything to your channel very simple you know, it will save you the stress of having your Gmail logging in multiple devices. The next feature here is switch account. For people that have multiple channels, if you click on switch account here, from here, you can access your other YouTube channels and you will still have access to all the features inside YouTube Studio. So far, so good. We have touched everything inside YouTube Studio. We have talked about the dashboard, that's the YouTube Studio interface, the content, the analytics, the community tab, the end tab. Inside the analytics, we have talked about the overview, we have talked about the trend, the overview, the content tab, the audience tab, and the revenue tab. We've talked about the notification. If you click on this notification tab, you can still from here and see your notification, your latest achievements on YouTube, and you can equally reply comments from here. So that is the work of this notification. Then this plus sign here is you can equally upload video from YouTube Studio. So that is what all these things are all about. So YouTube Studio is very, very powerful. You know, this is like the engine room of YouTube, like I always say. So if you want to understand YouTube better, make sure that you first of all understand the YouTube Studio. I see some creators saying that they don't have YouTube Studio. I say, wait, how are you now creating? So go now and download the app from your App Store or from Play Store and start using YouTube Studio to understand everything that has to do with YouTube, your channel and your content. And if you are still confused, go back to the day one and watch our videos. For people that are just seeing my video for the first time, I embarked on a 14 days posting challenge, talking about everything that has to do with YouTube. And the challenge is very simple. It's not that I posted 14 long videos, no. I did it one long form video, one short. I treated so many topics on the long form videos and equally treated so many topics on the short videos. So watch it from beginning to end and you are going to understand everything. The link to the playlist is still in the description of this video. If this is your first time of seeing me, my name is Jazzy and I'm a creator for the creators. Thanks for watching this video to the end. Do well to like, subscribe and equally share with your friends. Thank you and I'm going to see you on my next video. Bye.